Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to build TensorFlow on Windows. Uh, there are two ways to build uh, TensorFlow in Windows. One is via Bazel, uh, and you can also use CMake to build it on Win on Windows. I'm going to follow the CMake build. Uh, so if I click on this link, go to this uh, TensorFlow pa GitHub page, and let's go to the uh, prerequisites first. So we need uh, CMake version 3.5 or later got cmake 3.7.2 uh, installed on my machine so you can install it for yourself make sure when you install it you also add the option to add it to system path as well so you can in the command prompt you can access cmake the next thing you need is uh, git uh, software you, you can get the link to download uh, git for windows Third uh, is Swig, Swig version 3.10. So all, re all releases and then Swig Win. And you can download Swig version 3.0.10. So once you have downloaded this, so I've got this, uh, and then after it's extracted, you can just copy it. Swig to C tools. Uh, folder so I've already done that so I'm not going to do that the next thing you need is uh, uh, Visual Studio 2015 and you can go to Visual Studio downloads website and once, once you are into downloads you can go to because current version is 2017 so you can go to older versions and download the 2015 community edition Visual Studio Next, uh, you can actually Python 3.5 and NumPy will come with uh, Anaconda. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install, download and install uh, Anaconda. So for Anaconda, the version I've got is uh, Anaconda 3 uh, version 4.2 for Windows 64-bit. I've downloaded and installed and make sure that when you install it, uh, you can you also add Python to system path. So there is a slight difference from here. Uh, in I've got 4.2.0 Python uh, or 4.2.0 Anaconda on, on my machine. And yeah, you need for GPU. Uh, if you're not compiling it for CPU only, you don't need an, uh, CUDA and CUDA and uh, But yes, for uh, if you are compiling it for GPU, you will need uh, to download CUDA and install it. So you can just go to CUDA web page and just download it for windows 10 um next uh, you need cuda nn uh, so you can just go to cuda nn website click on download you need to sign up once you have signed up you can just agree to the terms and conditions and then you can download cuda nn 5.1 for windows 10. so once you have got all the prerequisites uh, i've talked about cmake uh, i'm just going to go next um okay so Let's go through the step-by-step -step process. So you can just, first of all, you just need to go to your downloads wherever you want to download TensorFlow. So I'll just right click and open command window here. And I'm just going to, first of all, run this command. So in after you install uh, Visual Studio 2015, you might not get uh, this uh, VC was all uh, file in this location so what you can do is let if I go to AMD 64 I don't find this file here so the other way around is what you can do is you can run call and then I've, I've been path to this uh, this file this batch file here and then I, if I say AMD64 it will do the same uh, job as, as this command here so next uh, uh, we have already yeah uh, for CUDA and then if you are compiling it with for GPU uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to f uh, download CUDA and then 5.1 uh, here so you just need to copy all the folders from after you extract CUDA and then 
just copy all the folders from here into program files nvidia cuda version 8.0 and just paste it here i've already done that so uh, i'm not going to do that again so anyway um once we have done that um so let's go to the um next step so see make uh, make sure you it's already in the part in your system path so you can just check it by typing in it's already uh, in in your system in my system path so i don't need to do that uh, also i have got anaconda in my system path as well so i don't need to uh, do anything so now let's clone the uh, repository so we can do this by just copying this command here okay once the repository is downloaded i'm going to add another step before i go to the, the steps as you on above um so we're going to do tensorflow um and then we're going to check out with the stable version otherwise it might break with the master version so I'm going to check out with version um, the current 1.2 release okay so once that's done then we can go to follow the same steps again so we have got tensorflow and tensorflow i'm going to just i'm just copying this command here uh, tensorflow so i'm going to make directory build cd build and so we have got through all these commands uh, make directory so now what we're going to do is uh, yeah i invoke cmake um, so what we're going to do we just copy these commands and you need to check if you if this path is correct because uh, i had copied it to c tools segment uh, so you need to check as well that you have copied if you have copied it to a different path make sure that you put the right path here um yeah so i've got it here um yeah i've got sig yeah, um so yeah that's done and then python executable so i've got anaconda installed in c tools directory so you can do that uh, so you need to change your path here as well and then to c lib as well so yeah And because I need to continue, uh, so if you are compiling it for CPU, just enter, press enter here at this stage, because I need to uh, add additional option for GPU as well. So I'm just going to continue adding the commands. So uh, in, yes, I'm going to enable GPU, and then CUDA and then home. So you can just give path to CUDA and then to the extracted folder here, uh, but uh, I usually like to uh, copy CUDA and files into the GPU computing cool uh, toolkit uh, CUDA create as a, as we already copied it so uh, we should the program should be able to find it here. So next is uh, SIMD instructions uh, with AVX SSE architecture. So I found that if you uh, compile it with AVX architecture there are many issues uh, which are currently open on github as well uh, so i'm not going to compile it with AVX architecture and i'll just compile it uh, in a so uh, yeah so once we do that okay so the next so there are other options as well you can uh, you can try uh, but i'm not going to try any of those uh, and i'm going to just go to the next step which is 
build executable by running this command here and so this, this is going to be take a bit of time and so be patient while it compiles tensorflow it, it, it takes about two hours on my machine to build tensorflow so just to save time i had already uh, built tensorflow on my machine and i'm just going to show you the next steps what's uh, after you have compiled so after you've done the uh, run the ms build pro, uh, command you can just you'll, you can just run the next step uh, next command and you'll, it will just run the tests So once that done, that's done, so usually most of the people use TensorFlow with Python, so you need, will need to build a TensorFlow for Python as well. So the next step will be to just run this command on your machine. Um, I'm not again going to do this because it takes about 40 minutes off uh, uh, for to compile. So I had already compiled it, uh, So, but, but you need to uh, compile it using this command. Once you have compiled it, you will find compi uh, v, uh, Python, Python TensorFlow wheel in this directory. So tf Python, and then this you'll see the wheel file here. Um, so I'm going to just show you how you can install it on your machine. So I'm just going to do tf and cd to tf and just clear this screen first. So cd tf and it's Python and then distribution. And now I'm going to first create a virtual environment, create and TensorFlow uh, Python 3.5. And yes. Okay. Uh, once uh, we have the TensorFlow environment, we can activate TensorFlow. And then do pip install TensorFlow. Uh, that's the build file um, tensorflow gpu uh, anyway uh, it's uh, let's install this so yes uh, once it's installed now we can python import tensorflow as df and Then we have and that's it. So it's, uh, it's running fine. So yeah, let me know uh, how it goes. Uh, if you're able to compile it successfully. Thanks for watching. Thanks for.